today, what we're doing today, hmm, we're going to do hand wraps. Otherwise known as a little move called spinning yarn. So, it's called spinning yarn. Um, well, it's called spinning yarn basically because it looks like spinning yarn. Done. That's your move. That's all we're learning today. Nice easy one for you guys. Alright, so this is pretty much the easy, one of the easiest moves you can do in rope dart. And the reason for that is because as humans, we're very used to using our hands. So, um, you use your hands with the dart, and you use your hands with all the other circus instruments that you may be learning, or anything else. So, what are we doing? How are we going to do this? Well, I prefer to learn in ball plane. Um, and you literally, you quite literally, you just spin the dart. I usually go with inwards to start. Inwards, which is also forwards, right? Um, but wall plane is easier to learn. It's basically the only place you can do it. You can do it anywhere you want, but it's the main place you will do it. So, if you're spinning inwards, you spin over the top, let some length out, right? So let's do that again. Spin over the top, and let some length out. As you let that length out, put your hand in the way, right? This automatically halves the length of my dart. Dart, dart. Look, it's way shorter, right? Now, you can do as many wraps as you like, it just depends on how close your hands are together. You know, I can keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping and wrapping until my hands are completely wrapped. The only problem with this is that it's difficult to release. Not a very good shot. Now, this is an infinitesimally useful move because what it allows you to do is shorten your dart to an effective and easily usable length, right? You can now spin and turn and do all sorts of things with this dart. Elbow wraps, really, really easy. You might have struggled a bit with elbow wraps because you've got this huge length and you're trying to wrap it around. Get it. Nah, I mean, Previous elbow wraps tutorial, I didn't tell you to shorten, uh, you know, I did tell you to shorten it, but I didn't tell you to, sh told you to shorten like this, rather than shortening like this. Now, that's fine, you can shorten however you want, right? But, this is a very effective and easy way to shorten it, right? Once you're done, if you want, you can just drop the loop. That loop, then you can shoot out, right? I just spun you out again. So, you don't have to spin yarn as you go over the top, right? This is the spinning yarn move, but you don't have to hand wrap as you go over the top with pendulum hand wraps. Same thing. All I've done is I've shortened the length of the rope with my hands. Very useful. Very, very useful because it allows me complete control over where I shoot. Okay? Right, so, as you've now seen, you can spin yarn in the horizontal, in the, in the wall plane, sorry. Now, what I want you to be, also be able to do is to spin yarn in the wall plane in outward spin, or reverse, okay? So we're doing outward spin, and this time as it comes around the bottom, right, with inwards, over the top, as it goes over the top, you stick your hand in the way, right? With this in, out, outward spin, as it comes around the bottom, stick your hand in the way. Now this, you might struggle with a little to begin with, because it is a little bit more uncomfortable. I mean, you might struggle with this to begin, to begin with in inwards. It doesn't really matter, just so long as you keep giving it a shot. When you first start, you'll almost certainly just slip off the end, or you'll miss the second, second one, and you, that's okay. It doesn't matter, just so long as you can try. Now, that was the inwards. This was the outwards. Now, I'll just step back and show that so you get the whole circle in. Okay? So we've got inward spin, right? Really big, big, big dart. Okay? Don't need to do that. Short spin as it comes out to about horizontal. Let it out. Wrap, catch. 
there. You're just sticking your hands in the middle of the circle. This in turn makes the circle shorter. Okay? With reverse. Again, as it comes out to the same side though, as it comes out to the horizontal, let some out. Now this is more difficult because you've got to let it out as it passes underneath. Right? You want to let out from, from starting from there, right? But most of it you want to let out as it passes here. So if I'm up, okay? So shorten out. See that? It's almost a shot. If you want to make it into a shot, you can you can shoot and wrap. It's a good way to get your get your dart back into you quite quickly. If you're finding that you can't shoot and pull back because you've used all your energy to move and have that shot, right? You can move and have that shot. Hand wraps. Essentially the most useful. The most useful for controlling your dart. Not the most useful altogether because there is no most useful altogether. The thing you've got to learn is that everything is useful when you've done. You've just got to find how to use it. So, hopefully that gives you an idea of how to hand wrap and how to spin yarn and essentially the same thing, but you can hand wrap, you can hand wrap in other ways than just the spinning yarn method, as I'll show you with pendulum. Okay? So, there's more wraps to come and uh, just keep watching and hopefully you'll be a uh, master at this stuff in no time. So make sure to check out my website www.poidojo.com. There is more at the website than just this. If you want to learn some poi there's also that. Um, also I'm writing blog entries and everything that you could imagine. So have a look and uh, until next time.